Hey guys, Moustache here, this time with a review of the DC Comics Super Villains New 52 Joker. So we got a nice window box here. We kind of see that uh, flap we've been seeing with the new DC Comics logo. You got uh, some blades and things like that there. And then we can see the Joker here. We can see some of the items he comes with. And then on the other side here, we do get another image of the Joker. And then on the back here, we do get kind of a uh, face-off scene between Batman, the uh, New 52 Batman, and the Joker. And then we get the uh, We Can Be Heroes kind of uh, logo there. And then we do get Coming Soon, Super Villains Black Manta, and Super Villains Captain Cold. And then on the other side, we get a silhouette of the New 52 Joker. And so let's break into this figure and see what we get here. So here he is in all of his glory, the Clown Prince of Crime in his New 52 attire. We get awesome figure. Uh, just taking a look at how he looks here. You got the blue kind of uh, garage outfit. You got the tool belt here with all of the uh, holders. It says Joe's Garage in the back. Got the uh, nice skin here. And then going into the face. Face looks awesome. We'll get a closer look at the face right now. So looking at the face here, we get pretty nice detail. You can see the uh, the strapping and the green hair, as well as uh, everything that's under the mask has that uh, kind of shiny look to it, as well as the hair is pretty shiny. Looking at the back here, you get the strap. And then going back down to uh, his clothes here and his belt, you can see the detail that they put into the figure. Got the gloves. And then the uh, Joe patch on the chest there. And going down to his boots. Got nice kind of uh, corduroy style socks. And then you kind of have like the uh, orthopedic type working shoe there. So it looks very cool. So he does come with quite a bit of accessories. He does come with the, uh, with the monkey wrench or pipe wrench. Doesn't uh, doesn't adjust or anything. It's just kind of stationary. He does come with the uh, sawtooth kind of blade here. Has the hammer. And then the uh, needle nose pliers. These don't come apart either. So looking at him, you can see that he does have these kind of empty slots here on his belt. So all the items that you do get do go in his belt if you wanted to just have him standing there without anything. So you got the hammer here. It is a little hard to get in there with the uh, kind of big um, bottom of the handle. Go over to this side. We can put the uh, pipe wrench in there. So you got that. And then going to the back, you do have the two slots that are open. You have one for the uh, pliers here to so just go next to the other pliers. And then you go. You can go ahead and stick the sawtooth blade right there. So then he's kind of fully armed. And then the other things that are in his pocket. So we'll take those back out in the back. The other thing in his pocket don't move. They uh, aren't necessarily connected to his body. So it is cool that like if you move them, they're not gonna like kind of look dumb, like stuck to his body still. They are state like their own. So that's very cool. I think that was a very nice touch. And then we'll go ahead and take the uh, the monkey wrench and the hammer out of here. And we'll get into the articulation. So he does have a pretty nice amount of articulation. So we'll start at his hands. The hands do go 360 degree at the glove. The uh, fingers don't move, but uh, that's where the articulation is in the wrist. Then the arm does do the 90 degrees, or a little less than 90 degrees, and then they do go straight. They do turn at the sleeve here, so it does 360 at the sleeve. The arm does move up. It's kind of on a ratchet joint. It goes about that far. Then you can come back down. Head does do 360 degree. Doesn't look up or down that much, so that's about all you get there for that articulation. Then, of course, on the other side, it's the same with the articulation there with the wrist, the elbow, and then the spin at the sleeve, and then moving the arm up. The waist 
does do 360 degree. So if you wanted them to have them like leaning that way or leaning this way, you can still do that. Going down to the feet or the legs, he does have the uh, movement up here at the thigh. So that goes about that far. And then going into the knee, the knee doesn't do three or uh, 90, goes about that far. And then going down to the foot, you do get the um, movement on the foot, 360 degree at the bottom of the pant leg, but there's no ankle pivot or anything like that. So that's it for the articulation. And then of course, uh, all the satchels are uh, free, but they are still connected to the figure. Like you can move them or at least some of them, but that's about it. So here he is in an awesome pose. Most likely the pose I'm going to be leaving him in. Uh, got that crow or the pipe wrench kind of hanging back there. Like the scene in the uh, new 52 comic books when he's beating uh, Alfred. But I love the figure. I did receive it as a gift and I could not be happier. Um, a lot of things are great about the figure. You know, you have the white skin. You got the awesome mask there. The detail on the eyes are really good. I know some people have gotten some bad eyes on them, but mine look perfect. The uh, pipe wrench is great. And then all the accessories that he comes with to kind of uh, go mad, like the uh, sawtooth and things like that, are great. Love that you can stick them on his belt. Um, the articulation is really good. I would like some, uh, it would have been cool if there was some swivel, at least on the feet, but it's still a really nice figure. It's not something I'm going to be really like playing with. He's just going to go back with my other Jokers. So I think that's very cool. One thing I did forget to mention, he does do the 360 degrees uh, around the arm. So it's not like he's, he's stationary. You can move his arm like back and forth. But I love him. think he's great. I think my only gripe is going to be with uh, the hammer here. Just because the hammer at the top is so thin, I, like, I'm like. i afraid that it's going to break off Like if it bends too much. But uh, he, it will probably just stay in his satchel when he kind of gets to his final place. So awesome figure. Couldn't be happier with it. DC Comics Super Villain Joker from DC Collectibles. Mustache again. Peace.